Hello, boys and girls. We thought we'd do something fun to jazz up the crafts a little bit, and we're going to do some big hit crafts, crafts we've done in the past that you've really enjoyed and wanted to know how we made. So today we're going to make some really cool um, puffy foam glue or paint or whatever you'd like to call it. And in order to do that, you're gonna need a bowl, some white glue, and some shaving cream. The really cool thing about this is it only takes three ingredients, and the third ingredient is food coloring. So if you need some help, please get a grown-up to come and do that with you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put equal parts of the white glue This one looks a little watery actually, boys and girls, so I'm just going to mix it up or shake it up a little bit first so we make sure this works for us. I'm going to try that again. All right. Then we're going to take some shaving cream and squirt some in there. And it's kind of going by what looks and feels right to you as you're doing it. It's a little hard because of course, this is a little liquidy, this is more poofy. So it's gonna be hard to know if you've got equal amounts, but you'll be able to tell once you start mixing it up because it has a really cool consistency. And I might need a little bit more glue in there. It'll be a little bit of an experiment for you, some trial and error. And of course, it's always fun to learn about any of these sort of things when you look up some information for yourself. And you can do that, of course, in a book or online. So once we've got this cool woo, puffy paint, I love this stuff, it's so much fun. Even grown-ups love this. And then you can add just a couple squirts of whatever color you would like. So let's try three and see how that's gonna look. And remember, it does make uh, marks on your hand and wherever you'll be working if you do use food coloring. So make sure you ask a grown up first or you have newspapers down or something, um, maybe like an older t-shirt or something on in case you get it on your clothes. That's pretty light, so I'm gonna add a few more drops of it. So all together, I did about seven or eight drops, and it looks really cool as you're mixing it up, which is part of the fun of this, too. You can kind of play with it when it's in the bowl, swirl it up, see how neat you can make your colors look. So, once we have it done like that, ooh, very cool, I love that. We're going to, make it into ice cream for your craft. So what I did is I just took a piece of brown construction paper, made it into a longer triangle shape, and we're going to glue that onto the piece of construction paper. So it'll look something like this. If you wanna get super fancy, you can take a marker or crayon and you can make it look a little more like an ice cream cone, like so. Then you're going to take a nice puffy paint and pretty much just swirl it and move it on top of your paper. And the cool thing is it's going to set in a little while and get a little bit harder so you will be able to keep it and it'll look really cool just like this once it dries. And it's lots of fun to work with. And we've made this into other things like snowmen or mittens. The ice cream one is really a fun one. So you can just play around with that till you get it how you would like it to look. Um, I'll just take that little bit off there like that. And then if you really wanna get fancy with it, what we've done in the past is we've taken actual sprinkles and we've sprinkled some on there and they can dry on your ice cream as well. 
which is always nice looking. And you can cut a cherry out with some red construction paper. Put that on top as well. Decorate it up any way you would like. So another cool thing to do with this as well, which I have not tried yet, is you can put it in a little sandwich bag that has a little zip lock on the top. Put some in there. So this is kind of like part two of this. So this is really like you're going to be using icing when you're doing a cake and you're decorating it. Only this time, of course, you can't eat it. But I'll give this a try. Once you do it up, what we're going to do is cut, or have your grown-up cut a little snip in the corner, just so your puffy paint can come out. And you might want to try writing something. So for example, I'm just going to write the word hi. And then this will dry and you'll be able to keep that all the time and it'll look 3D and all nice and puffy. And you can put it in your bedroom, maybe on the, of course, good old kitchen fridge, in your window so people walking by will see your pretty artwork. And so that's the fun thing that you can do today that was a big hit when we did this craft here at the library. And again, get as creative as you would like and have lots of fun with it because it is really fun to work with this. And uh, make sure you have an area that your grown-up said is okay to work with. Um, make some newspapers. Like I said, get on an old t-shirt and stuff so you don't get too um, dirty. But it's a lot of fun and I know you will love it. Thank you for watching today and we'll see you next time. Bye boys and girls.